Okay. First thing we want to do is strip away the rubber insulation. Just to where you can see the cable there and then pull it off. Now what we're going to do is grab all the small braided pieces. This is your shield and they are going to go all together and twist up. And then get rid of all the burlap stringy stuff here. Just to give yourself a little bit more space. Work. Cool. Then take the little guys. And just strip off the very end here. Just a little bit. Same with this one. You just want to expose the very end of the cables. And then what I'm going to do is prep this side of the cable here. And on the soldering iron, what you want to do is go ahead and make sure that the tip is clean. Just a little bit on the sponge to make sure it's got water, it's wet. And you just want to tend it a little bit so it helps to conduct the heat. Put a little bit of solder on the end of it. And all you do is touch that to the cable and then touch the new solder to it and you see it kind of crawls up the cable. That's tinning and that's properly getting that heat. Now you don't want to just like put it on like that, that's cold solder. You're not actually doing the full solder on the cable. It's a chemical reaction to, between the copper and the tin. So you just want to have the solder and you'll be able really to see, I'm going to push this cable, it, it, I mean I'm not touching it and it's going into the cable there. I'm going to actually push the solder into it down here, away from the tip. to where you saw how it, it goes in down here even. You want that kind of action to happen, so. Off away the excess. And so this is one tipped one side that's done, we'll do the other side now. Oh, I have to actually strip these as well. Cool. A little bit of solder on there. Touch the end. And now once it coats and crawls up. We get there. Great. So now, on the other side of it, there is actually a right and a wrong side of the XLR connection here. So uh, you'll see the little pinouts here. I don't know if we can focus in on that. Okay. You probably won't be able to see it on the camera. There's going to be a one, a two, and a three. So one, two, three. One is always going to be your shield. Two is always going to be your hot. Three is always going to be your cold or neutral. Um, so hot is always going to be red. Sometimes the blue will go between blue and black. Shield is always going to be the braided cable or uh, the shielding cable. So what we want to do to prepare the end here is kind of the same idea. We want to lay the iron across it, put a little bit of put a little bit of solder on it, and then we're going to fill the little cup. And I'm not touching the iron when I'm putting that in. I'm putting it into the cup itself and it fills the cup up just like that. So we're going to do that on all three of these. 
Okay, and then I'm going to switch hands here. Don't put the camera in the way. Not as steady with the left hand, but that's okay. And we want to do our best to keep the yellow flux. We don't want it to like populate on top of that or anything like that. You see how it is silver and actually silver there. Uh, that's really what we want to see. We don't want a big glob of yellow on top of it. So that's that. And then, like I was saying earlier, there is actually a right and a wrong way for each side of these things. So uh, on the male side, I'm just going to check one more time. Sure, I'm saying this correctly. I am okay on the male side. The shield goes on the left, hot goes on the right, and one, two, and three. It'll go just like this. Now, the other side of the cable, if you look, the red and the blue are, or excuse me, the red and the shield are switched. So here's uh, here's the correct way in this hand. Correct, incorrect. So there's a natural, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It just makes your life easier by soldering them better. So as long as you have the pins going the right places, it doesn't really make a difference. Now that you've prepped the cable and prepped the actual cup, you slide the cable into the cup, let the heat go all the way through, wait until it solidifies, which it's done, and then continue on to the next one. Same for this guy, go lefty. And sometimes I'm actually going to do this just to make it cleaner here. I'm actually going to nip the very, very end of this guy off just to where it's a little bit easier to handle. There's not just little things jumping off of it there. Touch it and all the way down. Make sure that the cup is completely heated and melted. Lift off, let it solidify. Good. So now, the whole connector is going to be very hot. Don't touch there until, uh, until it's done. So the one thing that we need to talk about is, see I knew that we had this off. We want to make sure that the boot, I'm going to put the boot on for the other side first here. Yeah, maybe. that side and the boot on for this side then the plastic cable crimp still hot still warm lands into those two little spots right there which will help there's kind of a notch out there it's seated in there right. And screw the boot onto the end. And I have cable to the other side. So again now the shield's not on the left it's on the right so one two three. Put that in here. Go ahead and prep the cups, which actually, so I personally like to do them very horizontally. I know people that do them vertically. I would suggest doing them horizontally. It's horizontally is much easier to take apart later if you have to. Again, you want to heat up the cup. See all the flux is boiling off. That's what most of the steam is. It's okay to let that happen. So you really just want the silver tin and lead in there. Up. And the same for this one. Cool. Now, 
have the boot on. Good thing. Fan these out. And now on this side, again, you're going to notice that the shield is on the right, hot is on the left, and neutral or cold is on the top. So they should land in there just correctly. Uh, with the female side, the cup that's this big, I always have a little bit of the solder on standby because they might need a little additional. Go ahead and heat the cup up. Touch the female end, or excuse me, the uh, touch the shield in there. And like I said, there's going to need, I would need to put a little bit more solder in here. Once you get it in there, You can heat and fill. Ah. And drop it from your mouth. There you go. That's one. The other connections here and I'm gonna go ahead and actually just temporarily put these in real fast and then I'm gonna add more solder to them so temporary put them in to where they stay in place it's really actually not a bad connection but you want to put a little bit more goo in there if you can just shores up the connection a little bit better Stay. It's always good to have a pair of needle nose, or you can grab right next to it and put it where you want it. There you go. Cool. So now, again, we just take the shield or the uh, stress release relief is what that's called. And again, it fits just right there. That in. And screw the boot on. Cool. Now, we have two ends. Moment of truth. Put them into your tester. And turn tester on, and you should see pin one or sleeve, sleeve, tip, tip, ring, ring. It's a good cable. This tester has an intermittent setting to where if you lose it, it says, Hey, we've lost it. You reset that intermittent, and if it turns back on when you're testing, then you know that there's a problem. Something is making contact in here, uh, but we're not getting that, so this is a good cable. Good to go on to the next one.